I'm interested in social media use in New Zealand and sort of what kind of impact that is having on New Zealanders. Um, in particular, I'm interested in how body satisfaction is um, impacted or related to social media use. So from um, previous research, we know that media, TV watching, reading magazines is linked to feeling less happy with your body. So we want to look at how Facebook use um, and social media in New Zealand is affecting body satisfaction because it hasn't really looked, been looked at before. Um, and it does seem to be showing a sort of negative effect for Facebook users um, in that people who use social media um, are comparing themselves with their peers online on their Facebook feed um, and are feeling less satisfied with the way that they look. This Facebook use um, could be a concern because Facebook use is sort of growing over time in New Zealand and um, a large proportion of face uh, New Zealanders are Facebook users um, across all ages, even up into sort of the older age ranges. So it's not just young people that are using Facebook um, and it's not just young women who are using Facebook, it's uh, sort of across the board and yeah, people who are Facebook users feel less happy with their bodies. Um, of particular interest is that middle-aged women show the biggest gap between Facebook users and non-users. Um, so women up to around age 38 or in their 30s and 40s um, are the least satisfied with their bodies if they're using Facebook and they show quite a big difference between Facebook users and non-users. Facebook use is growing and we can't necessarily force people to stop using Facebook. Um, I think it's about getting people to think about the way they use Facebook and um, the kinds of people they're interacting with on there and the way they're comparing themselves to their peers. Um, so basically if you're using Facebook and you find that you are unhappy with yourself, maybe um, it's something to think about um, in terms of the way you use it and the amount of friends that you have. Um, well, generally in traditional media, the reason that people feel unhappy with their bodies is because they're comparing themselves with, you know, models um, and actresses on TV. Uh, Facebook is different because it tends to be related to um, comparing yourself with your peers and your friends and your family. However, we find that um, it basically has the same effect. So even if they're not professional models, um, professional actresses or actors, people still compare themselves with others and feel like they're coming up short um, and start to feel bad about their own body and appearance. So from previous research, we would maybe expect that young women are going to have the highest rates of body um, dissatisfaction as they tend to use Facebook more um, and in other types of media, they're the ones who have sort of the eating disorders and the really low body satisfaction. However, in our results, we see that the lowest body satisfaction is actually among middle-aged women. Um, so this might suggest that sort of things are changing over time as media shifts to sort of a more peer-focused media and social comparison. It's actually middle-aged women who are sort of feeling that they are coming up short as they compare themselves to the people around them. Um, and this of course could have some long-term implications in that um, body dissatisfaction is very strongly related to eating disorders and disordered eating. Um, and there may be some evidence suggesting that eating disorders are growing in middle-aged women um, and not so much in young women as people tend to expect. Male Facebook users do have lower body satisfaction than men who do not use Facebook. However, this doesn't change that much, uh, much across age and so we don't see the same dip in middle-aged men as we do in middle-aged women. So it's specifically middle-aged women um, that have the low body satisfaction if they're a Facebook user. We um, hope to follow up this research longitudinally, um, which is the great thing about the NZAVS and all these waves of data, is we really want to see how this is changing over time. Um, so social media, it's relatively new, however it's sort of increasing in its use and it's going to keep on being used in the future. So it's a really important thing to study, um, to see how these things are changing over time, especially as use is increasing.